doing well if you're probably like me you've lost everything so as you can see i have got no more sounds this is all stock fl studio again so if you're making ama piano there are a lot of things you can get away with in the stock fl studio but a difficult thing to get away with particularly is shakers but anyway guys where there's a will there's a way we're gonna make our own shakers so that's what this tutorial is about the shakers so i am going to make some so a critical thing about making good shakers so what you're gonna find is a real shaker has different phases when it's played so sometimes you it'll, you swing it and it and the the things inside the shaker are gonna hit one side or come out there. sometimes you can shake it and leave it to have a bit of a, a sustain or release or you something you can shake it and just give it a quick stop so what i'm trying to say is your shaker has different elements to it so the way i make my shakers is simple i like to just put find some shaker samples that i like i go through maybe the, the shaker library and i start working on a loop and then i make the loop once i've made the loop and i i've got it the way i want it to sound from then on what i'm gonna do is I start working on it and changing up a little bit. So I'm going to do it now.
then I will I'll make a simple oh what I'll do from here is like I'll just put it through the mixer so I just routed all the shakers into one oh I forgot to do that uh quickly route it like this Let's see. do quickly route it I put the kick in oh. Add a bit of distortion. Sometimes I don't even touch it, I just leave it there because it does add a bit of distortion even if we don't do anything to it. Then I might add a compressor just just a little bit, just get it to get a little bit more, just give it a bit more power and that's it pretty much. That's it. It's quite done. Sometimes people, some people might put uh, like gross beat on uh, and use some of these. Uh, these are quite easy. For example, you could use this. You can use these shakers in any genre of house you want. Like you could, you could even do three step house with this. So thank you also for watching i hope i've just i've shown you guys something that might be helpful just to, just to increase your workflow and you can create more different grooves with your hats hi hats and uh shakers but i recommend you try this with shakers use as many different shakers as you can and just mess with the envelopes